State Farm insurance, there's like five, six mailboxes there. I don't see anything that says who would be living in this house, so I guess that's some sort of a, uh, you know, something, something else. That's some sort of mystery I have to find from the records from some government building. So you got Design Comfort Inc. Edgewood Electric. New Perception. Right here on the on the hill. On the old hills, on the old Grips River Hills. Parental violence, his daddy must have smacked him into autopilot. Even though Kenny French was lynched, it should have been Spike. But hopefully, history will just let Spike slip into irrelevance. In Gallatin County, the kids are getting shot. Here in Gallatin County, the cops have pot crops and some crack rock. Here in Gallatin County, the local yokels bitch about him bonnets. Here in Gallatin County, but they ain't exactly cooked on phonics. Here in Gallatin County, we ain't got no teeth and we ain't got no shoes. What's a poor boy from G Town supposed to do? The future here is bleak. Even our sheriff, Hulk Ferguson, was found dead floating in Eagle Creek. That wasn't because of bad luck. And even that retarded kid with the pony was killed for seeing too much. The government is taking care of 50% of your kids. The local yokels get wicked and children's health care and food stamps to live. And they're both Republican because they're dipshits. And they pretend that Beltair Casino, the Kentucky Speedway, is going to make everybody rich. And they're racist as shit, even though black people only make up about 1%. You ain't no wildcat. You don't walk around past. You're a teen kid who's smitten with working minimum wage jobs for a living. You're not part of a labor union. You don't believe in charity or solidarity. It's been proven that humans are prone to ruin. United we stand and divided we fall. That's what Abe Lincoln told us all. Watch Abby and sit on BP's lawn, selling what little they got just to keep going. In Saulville, you got 20 cops for 10 blocks, and the banks won't give you a loan. The ruling class covers only the road. Carrollton Walmart is taking IGA's business. Gallatin County News is produced by the Warnings. And in these hills, we got lots of frightened hill jack of hicks. Wanna be mafia? Attempting some cons and nostra. The AK-47 is getting these hillside valleys a popping. For the meth, coke, crack, and oxycodone. They aim for the window and shot cowboy Hopkins. Who did it? Nobody knows. And this case is closed. Ah, uh, these fucking gringos. It's Johnny Masters that you want to hate, but I didn't drown anybody in Crystal Lake. And yet, you want to fight me? Okay, just hop in your car and meet me at the BLR. And afterwards, we'll go and check out Jerry Longo's new bar. We got fires and car wrecks, and lots of teenagers having sex, and drunk fights at Riverfest. The school has geothermal heating. Holy Garden Angel Cemetery. Right next to Interstate 275. 3L Highway. 17 Dudley Road. Sanford Town. Detroit. What's up? Elizabeth Kunkel Sterling. She she died at 30 years old, September 1st, 1905, 1935. 35, so it's six years after the Great Depression. And she's just over here by her lonesome. Her headstone is at least compared to the rest of them. Germany. And here you got Mary Gripshover. Mary Gripshover. And she's just by herself. Here you got Catherine Jacob, Frank Jacob. You got a Gripshover here. Just a standalone Gripshover. Doesn't say anything and actually check us out. I didn't realize I was sitting on it just to relax on it. And it's just, it's just sitting there. The stone is just sitting there. Big block of stone and it's staying here. Uh, most of these are like, you know, 1900, so it's at least 100 years old. 
all these tombstones are. Here's another one from Germany. It says Brockman, Berkman. I don't know. But those are just the ones that are surrounding. Uh, Mary Loretta Anakin is an infant that died in 1928, born in 1928, died in 1928. But Mary Gripshover, she's by here, just in the middle, middle of the cemetery by her lonesome, and it says 1921. So I assume she died in 1921. Mary Gripshover. And I have no idea which Mary Gripshover it is. It might be uh, Henry's daughter. Henry the the first who come from the Deutschland boat from Germany. Our original German ancestry. That's some Jacobs. And again, like I said, you got that groups over there. And you also got another groups over headstone right here. So groups over. It's a big, big grips over headstone, big, big grips over tombstone, and it's in the middle of a bunch of other tombstones. But there's no other grips overs, and it doesn't say who that grips over is actually represented for that gravestone. Just like this one it does not say who is represented with the grip, the, which grips over is buried there. So, so I mean that's interesting. Uh, I bet you none of my grips over family knows about any of this and you got some interesting ones up here you got Crumpleman and I remember some Henry Crumpleman there's a Henry Crumpleman up here too that sold his house and I remember he was a big deal I, I remember my mom talking about him like he was something uh, so you got a Crumpleman one here like he was related to us not like he was something everybody something but Henry and Caroline Crumpleman. This Henry died in 1936. He was born in 1864. So, when the Civil War was going on. Um, again, you got a group server right here. Um, you got a Theodore group server, which Theodore group server, he had died. Um, and some, he was trying to cross the river or something and wound up dying. And he left behind eight kids and a wife. 1901 Theodore group server is one of the original ones that came over from the Deutschland boat with Johann and Catherine uh, Brueggemann group server. So he's one of the original ones, uh, one of the original immigrants. He, I think he was like, I don't, I don't want to guess, but maybe 11 years old when he came over. Oh, 69, yeah, he was 11 years old when he came over to America. And then William C. Rump, he married uh, Mary. Philoma, Philoma Griffchover, Mary P. And here's Mary P. Rump here, I believe. I believe that's true. Joseph Bruggerman. Okay. So I'm related to Bruggerman. Anna Bruggerman is my great great grandmother. So Joseph Bruggerman, 1838. He's a probably original German or. Bavarian since there was no Germany when they first came over Germany was formed in 1871 at least my family came over 1869 so beforehand they were all like different districts Bavaria and, and uh, Westphalen and I guess they were like city states because you know the Westphalen then you had the something Berg or Oldenburg or something so Bernadina and Joseph Brueggemann he was born 18 38 she was born in 1845 these would be I would, I would guess they're original immigrants that's when there's a massive immigration wave was going about this time and they were one of the early ones I mean they were young 1838 this is one of the youngest ones <laughs> okay I'm talking way too much about this Joseph Ruggerman and Bernardina I don't know anything about it but that's a that's a good find right there right here in the middle of the corner of an interstate so so yeah, there's a big ass house here. Nobody's living in. Some rich group server should buy it. Greg Blanchett died 49 years old.
Mike Blanchett, died at 44 years old. Bonnie Ann Blanchett, died at 51 years old. The new Greg, Greg is a good man. I like Greg. Blanchett, you got Father George Blanchett, Mother E. Knee Gripshover, and Daughter Rose M. You got Amanda Blanchett here, who's born and died same day. Grandchildren budded on earth to bloom in heaven. Mary E. Knee Gripshover, 1931, 1989. She was 68 years old. Rose Blanchett, who's the daughter of Mary E. Gripshover, uh, died at 50 years old. Daniel, second. Uh, DJ, he died in 36 years old. This is a group of headstone. And this is the father, Camillus P., born in 1905, died in 1984. Teresa C. Born 1922, seven, 1973 she died. And then Anthony, Anthony A. 1955 to 1973. And you got a picture of Anthony here. And you got a picture of Camillus and Teresa here. Andrew Lawrence Gregory. Teresa's baby that died. Teresa Lemming. Bethany A. Gripshover was Barb's child. Died in 1990 when I was eight years old. And you had Linda Faye Gripshover. She was the only cousin of mine that was born in the same year as me. She died in 95. She was 13 years old. And you had Another new headstone actually here. I've never seen this one. Barb Gripshover, which is Camillus Jr.'s wife. And she lived to be 44 years old. Barbara Gripshover, Barbara L. Gripshover. It says, if tears could build a stairway in memories, a lane, I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. So. Pretty well decorated, you got a lot of flowers and stuff out here. So these ancestors are still being shown some love. There's more. I'm at St. Mary's Cemetery right now. There's more. Uh, there's a grips over here, which is actually fascinating right now to me. George Gripshover, George Anthony Gripshover, born 1890. He was born here in the United States, I think, in Kentucky. Mary A. Gripshover, but I think it's Mary uh, DeMosco. So this would be the DeMosco Gripshover connection. It's the sunshine of our home. My Jesus mercy. So Father George A. and Mother Mary A. were the sunshine of their home. George. Anthony, 1890, 1955, he died when he was 65 years old. Mary A, she died when she was 51 years old. 